Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady B. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we continue to look at the shriveled hand in Saint Luke chapter 6 verse 6 through verse 11 a reference to Ephesians 4 verse 11 through verse 14 we will see today from our lesson the pain it caused this man to stretch out his hand but not until he obeyed Jesus in what Jesus commanded that that hand was made totally whole. So Jesus will stretch us individually so that we can perform his work to the potential of the gift that he has given unto us and then our gifts will be more effective for the kingdom of God. But we also see one of the many reasons for the opposition of the restoration of the five-fold ministry. There is opposition because it will force many churches to break with the tradition. Remember, Jesus was opposed in the synagogue. Why? Because he yielded on the Sabbath day, violating tradition. His ministry totally upset their comfortable routine. And for the withered or the shriveled or the crippled hand to be healed, then it is going to take Christ himself to upset the routine or the traditions of the church. Sadly, the same thing is true today. If healing the shriveled hand breaks with tradition, it will unleash the power and the glory of God. Then this has always made religious people nervous. If we are among the many Christians who are bound by religion, then we are no different from the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who did not want to see Jesus heal the man's hand on the Sabbath. They prefer to hold to the law. They prefer to hold to the traditions than to see a human being's hand be restored to normal. So, as God restores the five-fold ministry to the church, in this hour, the church is faced with a crucial decision. Am I going to break tradition? Am I going to break away from routine it is a crucial decision to make and if one says I will sit back comfortable and do nothing even though I know what Ephesians 4 verse 11 through 14 says then such one in their indecision it is already a decision 
but a choice must be made between God and tradition. Because the church as a whole does not want what God is doing. Why? Because many believers prefer just to sit in the pews singing day after day amazing grace and wait for the Lord to return rather than risking an encounter with the power and glory of God. When the Lord heals the fivefold ministry hand, there will be more power, more purpose, more souls saved, new lambs born into the fold than the church has ever seen for a long time. There will also be a great need for compassionate, caring shepherds who will bring the body of Christ into maturity and unity. We will have to grow up and become what God wants us to be, which is greater than our very selves. And that is a scary thought for many believers. So we know that there must be a stretching, a stretching of the hand before the hand can really be healed. In St. Luke chapter 6 and verse 10, Jesus told the man with the shriveled hand, Stretch out your hand. He must have tried many times to do so by himself. And certainly enough, we realize it did not work. Listen, he didn't tell the man to stretch his whole arm. He says, stretch the hand. The hand that was shriveled shriveled <laughs> so we know that in doing this it caused great pain but in obedience to what Jesus says the man did it anyway so yes it is going to hurt but that is precisely what Jesus told the man to do. And what God is telling the church to do today. So, as a child of God, if you have been feeling this stretching in your life lately, if you want to become a and all that God has called you to be hmm, in exercising your gift in ministry then you must be prepared for the Lord to stretch you as long as we are contented to stay in our comfort zone we will never become all that God wants us to be and he wants to raise us up he wants to do a similar thing like he did for that man with his crippled hand but first we have to stretch out or hand. Only God can do the healing work. But he needs 
or cooperation. He wants us to be obedient to the command and the great commission that he has left us. He wants us to carry on the work until he comes, the complete work, and to do it effectively. So to all that he asks, that is what he is expecting us to do. He wants the kind of obedience that stretches us. And sure enough, it will stretch the shriveled hand. And then healing will take place with the five old ministry gift recipients or those who we have called to such offices god bless you thank you again for watching please subscribe it is free like share also comment and continue to visit my youtube channel daily med with Lady V.